Hey there, this is a quick video on how to find, recognize, and use OER content. We're going to cover some basic resources to locate OER, or at least resources where you can start to search for OER. And in general, OER resources are often organized by content or format. And what I mean by that, um, if, if you'll notice these two boxes here, there's one called content and one called tools. So in general, OER resources are organized by content. Um, so for example, textbooks, images, uh, worksheets, assignments may be uh, available in different types of tools. And tools might include software and services that can be used in the creation, development, collaboration, delivery, search, and use of open learning content. So I'm going to be covering a few tools that you can use to find different kinds of OER content. We'll start with the Open Textbook Library. This one is really helpful for locating textbooks that you might need, to, that you might be able to use for your course. You can browse by subject. You can also do a search in the search box in the top right. The nice thing about the Open Textbook Library is that it does include reviews. So for example, I found this uh, textbook for English language learning. It's an introduction to listening and speaking uh, from 2017. And it's got 15 reviews and it's got four stars out of five. So that's one of the, one of the nice things about the Open Textbook Library is that it does include reviews from fellow faculty that have tried to use this textbook or maybe reviewed it to see if they wanted to use the textbook. So it's helpful for getting some peer review of OER. Another tool is the OER Digital Commons. This one is a little bit broader than the Open Textbook Library in that it includes other types of content such as whole courses, learning objects, things like that. Uh, a useful aspect of this tool is that you can narrow your search down by education level, which includes community college. So for example, here's a search results page from the OER Commons. I did a search for Excel for Business. On the left-hand side, you can see different filters or facets, including education level. So I recommend checking out the search facets that are available in these different OER tools to see if you might be able to filter your search even more. So for example, if I wanted to look for community college or lower division resources, I could narrow my results by that in the OER Commons. In addition to these tools, I actually adapted this video uh, because um, I wanted to include some local resources. This is a original video was by Amy Hoffer in Oregon, who does a lot of OER work in Oregon. And I basically adapted uh, her video to include some local resources from Washington. So one resource that I really find helpful is the Open Washington OER Resources Repository. What's really helpful about this one is that you can narrow your search down by types of content. So for example, if you're looking for open images, if you're looking for open textbooks, course materials, video, audio, this helpfully breaks it down by those different content areas. So this is a great place to start. Another Washington local resource is the OER Hub or Open Washington OER Hub. This is useful if you want to find OER resources that have been created by peers in different colleges in Washington State. So this was put together by the State Board of Community and Technical Colleges, in particular, Boyong Che, who is the OER coordinator for the SBCTC. Um, there are over 100 different projects organized by subject area. So this is really helpful if you want to see something that was created by a fellow peer in Washington State. In addition to those Washington resources, I've also created a guide uh, that has different OER tools, uh, many of which we've already talked about. So this is a good place to start if you want to look for, for different types of tools out there. Uh, there are brief descriptions under each link on what types of, what types of OER resources that that particular tool searches. So it can be a little bit like falling into a giant rabbit hole to locate an OER. There's a lot of different tools and resources out there. Um, you can definitely ask a subject librarian. Uh, you can ask e-learning. You can also ask colleagues for OER recommendations. Definitely don't, don't let yourself fall too far into that rabbit hole. Um, don't hesitate to ask for recommendations. Also, um, it may be difficult to find that perfect OER resource. The nice thing about OER and open licensing, it means that you can reuse, you can adapt different pieces from different works. So even if you don't find the perfect resource, you can take parts from others to create what you need. And you may also need to create something yourself um, using, and yeah, you can use other OERs as a model. So I wish you luck and definitely don't hesitate to reach out if you have questions.